A beautiful display marine aquarium. The best thing you could ever invest in is a quarantine tank. Now a quarantine tank is basically just a very simple aquarium. You may as well make it look good. By the time we finish this, it'll look beautiful. And then you can put new fish into this. And then once they're established in here and they're happy, after one month, you can then make sure the water's correct, pH, temperature, and salt level to the main tank. Then you can just catch them out, put them straight into the main tank. You should not need to acclimatize them, assuming that those three parameters are correct. Because when you get a fish from the wild, it goes through a fair amount of stress. And in that time, between the collector, the um, distributor, uh, the exporter, the importer, the retailer, changing all those hands um, can lower the immune system of the fish and make them able to get sick very easily. Then putting the fish into a quarantine tank allows the fish to settle down and allows their immune system to re-establish, meaning they get their antibodies back and their body slime comes back and their immune system re-establishes. Then once they're settled and they're feeding and they're happy, you can then put them into the main tank because most problems you're ever gonna have with a fish is in the first few weeks. That way you can nut that out and then once you know they're happy and you can see they're settled in and you can see they're feeding, you can then put them in the main tank. And that way, if they were to have a problem, they have a problem in this tank where it's cheap and easy to treat. And so therefore the disease doesn't go into the other aquarium and potentially wipe out the other fish in your main tank. So I think a quarantine tank is a very, very important purchase for anyone with a nice display tank or you're risking your fish every single time you put new fish in. This will minimize your risk. Now establishing this aquarium, I've taken some established water from Majestic Aquariums, and then I have some established biomedia. So this is Marine Pure, and Marine Pure offers parallel nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria. And because this was taken out of our systems, this would actually be totally full of good bacteria. You don't really need to see it, but it's just gonna bring all the bacteria in to help um, make sure that this system is established. And then I'll even pour this in. So this looks terrible, but that's all lots of very good bacteria because that's all established out of our system. And this good bacteria will help to break down any waste from the fish and will very quickly stabilize the aquarium, so therefore when the fish produce waste, the um, bacteria is able to break the waste down. quarantine out. tank needs is somewhere for the fish to hide, a thermometer for checking the temperature, a heater for setting the temperature, and a filter. The filter must be cleaned out on a regular basis using water from the fish tank, not water from the tap. And then the filter must agitate the surface. And then you wanna have an aerator as well as a backup. Whenever you get new fish, you don't want to feed them for the first two days. And then you just want to monitor them until they go into the main tank. With the quarantine tank, it's much better if the lights are out. Um, this bright light, we've only just got on for now because it's all new and we want to look at it. But once the fish are established and when you're not looking at them, it's much better to have the light off because it will stress the fish less. Now, whenever you add new fish, or whenever you're worried about your fish, adding a bit of Vugal is a very good idea. So Vugal is a immune system stimulant, and it helps to enhance the immune system of the fish um, by adding various minerals, vitamins, and so forth. And I actually find it works really well.